नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी इनक्रेट इन माइमेटिक्स दिज इनक्रेट इन माइमेटिक्स आर नथिंग बट योर एंटी डायबेटिक एजेंट्स बोथ ओवरऑल एंड पेरेंटल एजेंट्स आर देयर सो दे दे आर यूज इन डायबिटीज मेलाइटस सो व्हाट इज दिस डायबिटीज मेलाइटस इट इज ए क्रोनिक मेटाबॉलिक डिसऑर्डर कैरेक्टराइज बाय हाइपर ग्लाइसीमिया सो द फास्टिंग ब्लड शुगर इंक्रीजेस मोर देन 7 मिलीमोल पर लीटर and 2 hour post prandial blood sugar increases more than 11.1 millimol per liter and this uh, diabetes uh, is of mainly two types type 1 and type 2 and uh, mainly uh, based on the insulin hormone so one, uh, type 1 is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus where uh, there is absolute deficiency of insulin because of selective beta cell destruction uh, in the islet of langerhans of pancreas and the type 2 is non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus where there is relative deficiency of insulin secretion or insulin resistance and uh, if other causes other causes other than insulin are there we can include them as type 3 diabetes mellitus and during pregnancy there is also due to hormonal changes there is uh, uh, hyperglycemia that is called gestational diabetes so in addition to insulin so insulin is the hormone which uh, uh, regulates our glucose level and in addition to insulin uh, uh, recently we found this got hormone in creatins so insulin uh, mainly uh, regulates the glucose level by acting on the insulin receptor and uh, it causes uh, synthesis and recruitment of uh, glucose transporter increases uh, the uh, transcription of enzymes involved in uh, glycogenesis and uh, same in the same way it decreases uh, in those enzymes uh, uh, involved in glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis it also inhibits lipolysis favors lipogenesis and uh, uh, increases amino acid entry into muscle and causes protein synthesis so all these actions are uh, done by insulin and uh, so in addition to insulin uh, now we have another uh, hormone called uh, incretin which are got hormones so in in response to uh, food when we ingest food the human got religious uh, two hormones called incretins one is glucagon like peptide one glp1 and the other is glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptide that is gip so these incretins they will act on their specific receptor glp1 acts on glp1 receptor and gip acts on gip receptor and they those receptors are present in pancreas uh, in uh, pancreas uh, the islet of langerhans of pancreas in the alpha cell they inhibit glucagon secretion so decrease the glucose level and in, on the beta cell they stimulate the insulin secretion so uh, in this way uh, by increasing the insulin secretion insulin actions are mediated so this is one and second they, they are also present in G8 and they delay gastric emptying and in the hypothalamus they suppress the appetite and all these effects ultimately reduce the sugar level if hyperglycemia is there. So when the normal blood sugar level comes uh, the negative feedback mechanism operates and uh, there will be no more release of incretins. And these incretins are degraded by dipeptidyl peptidase 4 DPP4 enzyme. Uh, and uh, incretins are degraded. Uh, so we can also uh, give DPP4 inhibitors to increase these incretins. So the drugs which act as incretin mimetics or which increase the incretin action uh, can be DPP4 inhibitors or GLP-1 agonist so we can have drugs like uh, DPP-4 inhibitors which will increase the uh, incretin level or we can use uh, GLP-1 agonist and uh, initially uh, parenteral GLP-1 agonist were developed and uh, uh, just recently we have an, an one 
oral GLP-1 agonist and similarly we can have GIP receptor agonist though we don't have any specific GIP uh, receptor agonist uh, uh, just recently we uh, one drug is developed which is agonist at both GLP-1 receptor and GIP receptor dual uh, uh, incretin receptor agonist so the drugs uh, they they all these drugs they decrease the sugar level by these three mechanisms by or in total you can say four mechanisms by inhibiting glucagon secretion by increasing insulin secretion by suppressing appetite and by delaying gastric emptying so you can classify them as uh, GLP-1 receptor agonists. Uh, only one drug is there which is era oral that is semaglutide and uh, the others are parenteral. The first drug was exenatide, then uh, other drugs were developed, lixisenatide, liraglutide, all these are parenteral GLP-1 receptor agonists. And in 2021-22, Dual GLP-1 GIP receptor agonist is approved by uh, FDA and that is called tirzepatide. This is the most recent drug. And uh, these DPP-4 inhibitors which are used orally uh, like uh, cetagliptin, vildagliptin, saxagliptin, uh, linagliptin, alogliptin. So all these drugs uh, are uh, uh, DPP-4 inhibitors which increase the level of incretins like GLP-1 and GIP and uh, decrease the sugar levels. So we can use them uh, in, in resistant type 2 diabetes mellitus uh, along with metformin and or, or any sulfonylurea like uh, glimepirate. So that's all about incretin mimetics. Thank you.